the morning, we'll have morning songs. If you go to Brindavan, have any of you been to Brindavan? How many of you have been to Brindavan? Yes? So, if many of you, so you go to Brindavan, you know Mongo Arti. Then first we go to Prabhupada Samadhi. And at the Samadhi, they sing, the Guru has to come. Right? You should make up Sara, which we usually sing. But after Prabhupada Samadhi Arti, then we go into temple room. Prabhupada Samadhi Arti is at 4.15. And then it's finished in 10 minutes. And then we go inside the temple room to receive Darshan of Krishna Balaram, Radhasham Sundar, and Nitai Guru. And then we sing. Right? And you see all the beautiful names of Lord Krishna. Right? Dipa Padishesha, Aloka Pradesha. Dipa Chari, Uto Jiva. Now that all of the names of Lord Krishna, the different incarnations of Lord Krishna, and in this way, we can glorify the Lord in song. Beautiful songs with the names of the Lord. And in this way we can clean our heart. So very important to do kirtan. Mm -hmm. We have so many nice songs. We can see these books with all the songs in them. And if you go to places like Bangladesh, the Bangladesh there's many Gurya Vaishnavas and they sit in the village. And they'll sing the, the, they know all the songs of Bhakti. We only know a few, just know a few, very few. But they think all the nice words. So many, many songs. Oh, my God. No, and they're just a song. Okay, beautiful songs. Learn and Krishna. I'm sure about giving our platform. We spent a lot of time writing and composing beautiful songs. And then also, before Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Naratam Das Thakur, Naratam Das Thakur is another great devotee of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and of Lord Krishna. And Naratam Das Thakur wrote here a song, a very simple language, but the meaning is very deep. Just like in Mayapur, Every morning, when we greet the Panchatatra in the morning, at, at the Guru, at the Dham Jiti Darshan, then we sing that song, Shri Krishna Jai Kanyam Prabhu Narakaramo. This song is written by Narakam Rastan. So that's just one of his. But Narakam does turn his book, a whole book of songs, so many songs in this. Beautiful songs. And the Bengali Vaishnavas, they will enjoy singing. Prabhupada said, we have to know the meaning when we sing the song. Because it's songs, it's not just, you know, songs that we just enjoy the tune. But we should know the meaning, the mood in which the song is meant to promote. Just like when we celebrate the disappearance of the Vaishnavas, then we have a special song to which we sing. Ye Anilo Primadana Karuna Kapu. And we lament the departure of the, the great soul. And we have a special song when we sing that song. And it's very powerful, very meaningful. So each of these different songs is meant to awaken a different mood of attraction for Lord Krishna and the association of devotees. And to lament also the loss of devotees. So like that, uh, this, this is our Bodhya Vaishnava we like to do kirtan. There are other Vaishnavas, they don't do so much kirtan. If you go to the Sri Vaishnavas, it's more puja. A lot of puja. 
you go to the right path, they do a lot of yak yaks. Yeah, I don't know. Lip Barca, maybe, they come, they do also a lot of yak yaks. Lip Barca, they are also worshipping God and Krishna. Pushti Mahi, they are also rationalists, they are coming from the Shiva Sankhya. They worship the Lord as a child. And they also have some, but the Lord is worshipping Krishna as a young child, a young baby. So a different world. Each of the different lines and the different fashion of right to you worship the Lord according to their own particular teaching. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has taught us that the supreme form of the Lord is as a young man, eternally beautiful. And we worship the Lord in that manner. We don't worship Ladu Gopal. Ladu Gopal is not really in our mind, that's a different mind. But we worship the Lord in a beautiful bending form when the fruit and the cowper part. So this is the mood in the Gaudi Vaishnava Sankarapa. Different places, each place will have their different teachings. Alright, so we have a version of the board which is supposed to be today. What is it? 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 Oh, okay. 
Deva Sura Jiva Lord Sri Krishna's name, fame, pastimes, etc. cannot be understood by material senses. Only to one who is engaged in pure devotional service, under proper guidance, is he revealed. In the Brahma Samhita, Janana Charita Bhakti Vilochanena Santa Sadaiva Ridaichu Vilokayanti One can see the Supreme Personality of Godhead Govinda always within himself and outside he is not visible. Here it is said that although the all pervading Everywhere present, he is not conceivable. He is all pervading everywhere present. He is not <coughs> perceivable. Senses. This is indicated here by the word of Yakta Murtina. But actually, although we cannot see everything is resting in him. As we have discussed, cosmic manifestation is only a combination of these two different energies, the superior spiritual energy and the infinite. <laughs> How 
However, not everyone is able to accept the Lord in the deity form. Therefore, for such people who have very hard hearts, who are not inclined to see the Lord in the, in the, in the form of the deity, then they are encouraged. They can meditate on the Lord through the universe, meditate on different aspects of the material nature, how they represent the universal form of the Lord. Different parts of the material world, for example, rivers are compared to veins in the body of the Lord. And trees are like hair on the body.
it's not Lord Krishna directly, but it's an expansion of Lord Krishna. And then also, the Brahman is the energy of Lord Krishna. Now we are also Brahman, but we are tiny parts of Brahman. That is the Para Brahman. He is the Supreme Brahman. So there's a distinction between the, the living entities, the jivas, like ourselves, and the Supreme Lord Krishna. Lord Krishna, every time the company can say, okay, no work anymore, go home, you can no join me. At any time they can dismiss you. And sometimes you may be working, they don't pay you. Sometimes the company, they don't have funds. They don't want to pay the workers. So these things happen. But Lord Krishna, although he is the master and we are the servants, relationship is very nice. The relationship of master and servant is so nice, so enjoyable that there is more pleasure in being the servant than in being the master. How is it there's so much pleasure in being the servant? This has to be understood. Lord Krishna had many servants, you know? Lord Krishna had 16,000 108 queens right? and they were all in the presence of Lord Krishna. They loved Lord Krishna and they served him with their heart and soul. But Lord Krishna, although he had 16,108 queens and they were fed with me, but he is chanting the name, Radha, where are you? Oh, Radha, where are you? He's with Rukmini, or he's with Satchabhama, but he is chanting the name of Radha. Oh, Lalita, oh, Vishaka, oh, Yashoda, he is chanting the names of his other ladies. So that Krishna's queens could understand that wives of Lord Krishna, but he has more love for other people. How is it these other people are able to capture the mind of Lord Krishna so much? So it was explained, you are all Krishna's queens, but each one of you, you all have ten sons and one daughter. You know that? Lord Krishna, each of his queens, they have ten sons. They've got ten sons and one daughter. So he said to them, you may be Krishna's consort, but you don't just think of other people, other devotees. And they only think of Krishna. And these other people, I'm speaking of course about the gopis of Praja, they may not be so beautiful as the queens of Dwarka. The queens of Dwarka, they are decorated with jewelry, expensive ornaments. And the gopis, they are just decorated with forest flowers. Whatever grows, whatever you find growing there, it will be the Lord Janina. Prabhupada was saying to us, is that there is only one qualification to see God. And then he said, Premanjana Charita. In other words, that qualification to see God, that is Prima. That is Prima. Love of God. Then you can see God. 
you have to put that ointment just like you put the makeup on the eyes, you have to put that ointment of rain on them. And then you can see God. Then you can see Krishna. So I worship Govind, Govind as the primeval Lord, who is known as Krishna, Shah Sundar himself with inconceivable, innumerable attributes whom the pure devotee sees within the heart of hearts, with the eye of devotion, tinged with the sight of love. So, this is how we can understand Lord Krishna. Prabhupada also quotes his other verse, Atashri Krishna Navadi, that Krishna cannot be understood by the material senses. We want to use our eyes, we're accustomed to see things with our eyes, and sometimes people say, if there's God, I should be able to see Him. We say, no, you have to have the qualification to see God. You cannot see Him with your material eyes. Your eyes are material. You can only see material things. You cannot see the divine. You cannot see the pure spiritual form of the Lord. Lord Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, Naham Prakasha Sarvat my Yoga Maya Samadrita. I am never manifest to the foolish and unintelligent. For them I am covered by my eternal predicted potency. So Krishna reveals himself to the devotees, to those who have devotion. And that devotion begins, as I said, Jiva Atashi Krishna Napati Napagya Riyamandra Seva Mukhe Jiva Adal. So I have a bus for you. Jiva Adal begins with the tongue. Our devotion, our awakening, our approach to Lord Krishna comes about by using our tongue in the service of Krishna to chant the holy name and to also honor the remnants of food offered to Lord Krishna. In this way, we can develop the qualification to come to feel God's presence and then to go on to actually see God. And just, of course, as devotees, we're not anxious to see God. We're anxious to serve God. We want to give service. We don't want to be, be to dictate, oh, I want to see God. I have to, see. that is not the mode of the Vaishnava. Go to the Vaishnava, please. We don't demand to see God, but we do want service. We want to serve the Lord. And what service can we do? It begins with the tongue, to chant the holy name, and to honor, to serve. These two activities, very simple, everyone can do that and take pleasure in these activities. And by doing these activities, very quickly and surely you can progress in spiritual knowledge, in spiritual realization. And you can go on to know God more and more. To understand the world. Because Krishna reveals himself to his people. Some people know God as Brahman, others know Him as Paramatma, and still the devotees will know the Lord as Bhagavan. So the word is service. We talk about Sanatana, eternal service to the Lord. But it's so much pleasure in being the servant, but no one ever wants to become the master. It's so 
and so satisfied before pleading to be the servant, to, be, to try to serve Krishna. It's so sad, Lord Krishna himself comes to experience that service, to feel that pleasure which his devotees are getting from the sun. All right, is there any question? should study, read the books, take the courses, go online, you've all got a mobile phone, you know, you can use your phone to attend the class and hear the Bhagavad Gita. We have also Bhakti Shastri course, we have Disciple course, everyone should, you should study, learn, take these classes and hear, very good for you. Swami wants everyone to study, read the books. Even if you're initiated, doesn't mean you go back to Godhead. You have to learn, you have to hear. So you have to step take these classes, come and learn and find out more. Very important. Don't think, oh I'm old now, I finished my education. No, you never, you're a soul, you're not the body, you're not old or young, you're a soul. And your soul needs to be clean, to get clean, it will get cleansed when you hear the Bhagavad Gita. And when you hear the Bhagavad Gita, it's very important to take these classes and try to learn, study more. Guru Maharaj, uh, how do you overcome weakness of the heart? How do you overcome heart would be too much attachment towards sense gratification. So how would we overcome that weakness of the heart? By cultivating Krishna consciousness. Just simply become Krishna conscious. All the good qualities will be comes about due to too much contemplation of the sense objects. Dayato Vishaya Pumsa Sangha Stechu Pajayati While contemplating the objects of the senses, a person develops attachment for them. So that's where the weakness of the heart comes about. We think too much about material things. We become attached to sense gratification. But oh, how I can enjoy, what I should do, you should have to enjoy more. Oh, my, oh, my handphone's out of date, I should get the new handphone. Oh, my car is getting old, I need to get all oh, my shoes are old, I need to get new ones. Oh, I need more. We're always thinking about this and that. This, this is a weakness of the heart. We're not thinking about Krishna. We're thinking about me, the body. We're thinking I am the body and the things in relation. And in that way, then you can comfort over the and comfort over the weakness of God. Alright, thank you. Any other questions? <laughs> 